Hey there, this is John from Silent Sky Studios and MikeMikeKids.com and today I want to talk to you about this. This is the stereo to mono summing cable that no one makes. I actually wrote a, uh, an article on my blog about a year ago um, about this cable and I've gotten more feedback from that uh, than probably any other article that I've written. I've had a lot of folks, you know, asking they want to build their own cable or they want me to build one for them or whatever. And so uh, I thought if there's that much interest, then I might make a, a quick video just talking about it. Uh, basically, uh, what this cable does is it takes uh, a stereo output from a device like a smartphone or an iPod or an iPad or an Android tablet or a laptop or whatever and uh, so it's got a stereo, an eighth inch uh, stereo uh, TRS uh, plug on one end and then on the other end it has a, a mono uh, quarter inch uh, TS plug uh, and it actually has uh, some passive resistors uh, soldered into the plug uh, because a lot of cables that you'll see on the market will have a um, will have these same connectors, but instead of using the passive resistors, uh, those cables will simply short together uh, the tip and the ring, which is the T and the R on in TRS. But most of those cables will simply short together the tip and the ring, uh, and then uh, those are shorted together to the tip of the mono plug on this end and then uh, these cables are typically used uh, maybe if you want to connect uh, you know your iPod or your phone or whatever uh, to an input on your PA system or the input on an amplifier and you want to sum the left and the right channels to mono uh, because if you use like a TRS to a TRS plug uh, you'd only be getting the left you know the audio from the left channel or the right channel uh, going to the tip and the ring would be you know disconnected or whatever or if it's a balanced input um, you're not going to get a, a proper uh, connection because it's actually going to be a stereo unbalanced signal that you're connecting to a balanced input on a lot of your pro audio equipment so uh, this cable uh, just uses basically uses standard you know microphone cable uh, with two conductors and a shield um, the eighth inch plug is wired up as normal uh, with the shield connected to uh, the uh, the sleeve and then you've got the uh, the two inner conductors connected to the uh, the tip and the ring uh, but down here on this end is where the magic happens and what you do here is you actually um, you have to solder uh, the shield is connected to the sleeve as normal uh, but you actually have to solder a couple of uh, resistors uh, in into in line with the the two inner conductors, and then you tie those two together, uh, which connect to the tip. And the reason that you need uh, these passive resistors uh, in order for, to have a, a proper uh, stereo to mono summing cable is because if you don't, if you simply uh, short together the tip and the ring the way we talked about earlier, um, those the outputs uh, are going to back feed to one another and that can cause problems with distortion. Uh, you can get like a weird kind of phasey sound, almost like a phaser pedal uh, that you might use with your electric guitar. Um, you can get pops and clicks, you know, which uh, which you know is related to the, to the distortion, um, but it can also over time it might work for a while uh, even if you don't experience any of those you know any actual problem obvious problems with the audio it may work for a while but eventually it can actually damage the outputs uh, of the device that you're connecting it to. So if you're connecting it to your you know to your iPod or to your smartphone or to your laptop or whatever. Uh, the out like the left output is going to back feed into the right output the right output is going to back feed into the left output uh, without those resistors in place and eventually that can actually damage uh, the outputs uh, of your equipment now some equipment 
seems to work okay uh, with the standard cable without the resistors. Uh, it may work fine for a while. It may work fine forever. You know, if the uh, if the manufacturer uh, has done something uh, to the outputs to prevent this sort of thing from, you know, to knowing that consumers may hook it up that way, uh, then you may be fine for years to come. But uh, with other devices, uh, that may not be the case. So you may not want to take the risk, um, and you may want to try to get your hands on one of these. Uh, so if you um, if you're interested in one of these, then uh, just contact me through the uh, the link on the screen. Uh, I also include a link uh, to the actual article or blog post, so you can go read all the details. Um, in the article, I actually go into a lot more detail if you want to build your own cable about you know the values for the resistors that you can use, and it's got a wiring diagram on there uh, in terms of uh, you know what how to actually wire up the cable. Uh, internally. So uh, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, just shoot me an email uh, through the link uh, there on the blog. Thanks for watching.